Hello and welcome to another Division video and in this video I decided to have a go at the multiplayer. In the last video you saw me running around with the French frogs in the dark zone not having a clue what was going on so I thought I'll, I'll do some matchmaking redo this mission I've already done but the difficulty has been ramped up so these enemies are a little bit higher than me well actually top right they're at the same rank as me so we should be in for a good fight and I've also unlocked the medical ability which means I can heal myself double time or I can heal my friends, friendlies that are near me, by using that facility. So this video is going to be um, not a lot of me jibber-jabbering, but it'll give you an idea of the sort of gameplay now that's based around the multiplayer aspect of it, rather than running around on your own. And I'll tell you what, it's a lot more difficult, a lot more interesting, and believe it or not, it's a lot more enjoyable. So crank the volume up, look at this, and I might comment a little bit further on when I get the beautiful M1 Grand. All good. Let's kick some fucking ass. We got a flank of extra threat! Grenade! Additional hostiles detected. Now I have no idea what killed me there. It wasn't a grenade that went off. The area just went red. If anybody could tell me, anybody who knows the game a little bit better than me, luckily for me, one of my friendly teammates revived me. Uh, and I'm going to use my ability to heal us both in a second. There we go. No idea what killed me. It definitely wasn't a grenade and it wasn't a flamethrower. So somebody let me know what that was. Much appreciated. Oh. Candle and her staff are still upstairs, stashed in the kitchen at Kobe's. So that's the first part of that mission done. Just chance to restock up before we move further down. We then get into another fight in the canteen area, and then it moves over to the kind of like, not really the end boss, but the sort of the finale of this little mission, which is to fight up and out on the roof. Uh, there is a, a named enemy up there, which means they're a lot more difficult than your normal enemies, and they tend to drop loot. Um, if it's blue, it means it's good. It's a goody goody one. Green is good, blue is very good, and I think it goes up to possibly yellow. There's, uh, sorry, there's a different colour. Word is that they've really that trashed the place. Super rare, but most it would have broken my dad's heart zone, to see it go to hell like which, this. I mean, we used to watch games there again, together. As I, said, I jumped in quickly to have a look. Didn't have a clue what was going on and then jumped back out again. Didn't really have any missions. So we're just going to stop I think up it's here, better my folks didn't live to see any of this. Area, have a fight but in there with the then I think about all the people doing their best to keep going. Dare I say it? That's who we do this for, Agent. Go get them. to slightly grow on me. Ever so slightly. To get to Kobe's, you'll have to pass by some contaminated areas. There used to be plenty of sick people being treated there before they got shot. So be careful. Where's an RPG when you want one? Just fire it down there or a two or three grenade launcher. I don't even know whether those weapons are in game. I was hoping you could jump up there, but you can't. It's a little bit restricted on what you can climb on and what you can't climb on. The whole aspect of this bullet sponge thing. Uh, well, it, it is what it is. It's never going to change. So if you want in that MMORPG style collecting of weapons with loot drops, 
Um, not quite sure what he's shooting at the ground there. A little bit of a bug in the desync there, I think. Then um, this is the game for you. If you can't get over the bullet sponge thing, then you're going to absolutely hate this game because some of the enemies, like the one we get to on the roof, you can probably put five or six grenades into him, seven or eight clips, sniper rifle, shoot at his head 20 times um, before you start to knock him down, before you take his armor down. So shit ain't going to change. Um, I'm trying to flank here at some point as we clear out the first set. I flank down the bottom. It's not bad. It's his own type of game, really. Just don't come into it expecting anything tactical or really Tom Clancy-ish. I don't understand why the Tom Clancy name is associated with this. There's nothing realistic about this game whatsoever. It is an arcade MMO loot drop shooter. Come in with that mindset and you might just love it. would be good to play with a few more people on the multiplayer aspect of it. I don't have many friends on Uplay, because I don't tend to play a lot of Ubisoft games, to be honest, after Watch Dogs. Ugh, Ubisoft really did leave a bad taste. Um, yeah, so add me as a friend if you want. Para players, you can find me. Let's jump in and play some multiplayer, and who knows, I may even record some video. Escort party's taking heavy fire from the roof. They can't move until you get up there and take down that gunner. We're pinned down! There's no way we'll make it across alive unless someone can get up there and take out the big gun! So here we are on the roof. I've cut a little bit of that video out. Uh, it went on quite a while, did that fight. This is kind of like your final kind of boss on the roof. So I shall leave you to enjoy this video. Quite interesting. We've got to take him out. And uh, we get a nice M4 carbine, if I remember off the top of my head. Uh, I was in M1 Grand, it's one or the other. Uh, thanks for watching, let me know if you're interested in The Division. I don't know if I'm going to do many more videos, it's not really my type of game. But I've enjoyed it for what it is, it's an open beta for two days. So get it downloaded and have a go and see what you think. And let me know in the comments box if I've got anything wrong in these videos. I'm literally just going on from what I've played. There may be more missions and more exciting things to do in the game currently. I'm still 50-50. I may get it in the sales, especially if some of my friends get it. Um, we'll see. Anyway, I've been Paraplayers, and this has been the Division Open Beta. And this has been Matchmaking Multiplayer on the Hospital Mission. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I shall leave you to watch the carnage. I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.
additional hostiles incoming. Got the medics safely across. Candle and all staff accounted for. No casualties. We're off to a good start, agents. Wish I could have had your back out there, but I think we make a hell of a team anyway. When you get back to the base, we'll talk to Candle and we'll see what she can do for us. Titties. <laughs>